So for over five years, I've lived in a farming village up on a hill next to a bamboo forest. And as peaceful as it's been, I think it's time for a change. bamboo forest view the local farmers all of the fresh produce and especially the egg vending machine it has been a really great five years I'm so glad I found this apartment and this beautiful town but now it's time for some new adventures took my time and found the perfect house. So, welcome to the moving vlogs. Hey, it's Sunday and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today I am sitting in my living room. I am finally going to be giving you guys the living room tour. This has been such a journey. This was the only room in the house that I didn't love. It almost stopped me from going to look at this place when I was hunting for apartments. Online, the pictures were so ugly and all it showed was this really dark, ugly, dark, did I already say dark? Dark closet. It's really dark. And there's wood everywhere in here. Again, making this room very dark. So when I was thinking about the design for everything, I knew I wanted really bright white furniture and I knew the exact couch that I wanted and it was sold out. Got me messed up. They tried to fight from Ikea. So here's the before. I'm so glad I went and looked at this place because the photos online were just so dark. But because all of the windows and the way that the house is facing, this place gets so much light, I was very shocked. However, I still wanted to make sure that I lightened up the room with some white bright furniture. Yes, I say furniture. But before I give you guys the tour, let's take a look at what I got from today's sponsor. So I'm very excited. Today's video is in collaboration with Boxu. Boxu is a monthly snack box subscription service that delivers original assortments of premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings straight to your door from Japan. Every month you'll get a box with a different theme. This month's theme, oh my god, I'm so excited, is Sakura. How adorable. It comes with this really cool culture guide. It tells you all the information about the snacks that you're getting. Discover where your snacks are from. It shows you exactly which region they came from, which I thought was so cool. I just think stuff like this is so freaking fun. I'm gonna try some of these. I'm gonna start with this one, packaging on point. So this is called the dondonyaki. It's named after the sound of beating a taiko drum. I know that smell, but I can't pinpoint it. These are fire. Wow, why are these so good? Oh my God. Whoa, not expecting that. Who needs chips? Savory senbei. Okay, it's senbei, which is a Japanese rice cracker. A lot healthier than most chips. Tonkatsu sauce. There we go. The next one is this white strawberry I'm gonna try. It said that it is the world's first chocolate infused strawberry. That sounds really exciting. Wow, it just, it looks like a real strawberry. Oh, oh. This is some scientific stuff. Whoa, it looks like a strawberry and tastes like a strawberry. It has the exact texture of like white chocolate. Oh, this is weird. It's good, but I'm kind of freaked out in the head. I had to try these. Packaging is super cute and it is mochi. I love mochi. This is their hanami dango. Hanami is where everyone goes somewhere to go see the cherry blossoms. They usually sit underneath the tree. They have some drinks, some snacks. Oh, I dropped one. Oh, I feel like People who don't usually like mochi will like these because they're coated in sugar. If you use my link, you can get 10% off your own authentic Japanese snack box from Baksu and save up to $47 using my code and the link down below in the description box. Okay, I'm currently in my bedroom, so let me give you guys finally the living room tour. Oh, you gotta try these. What are they? I don't know, dun dun something? Um, senbei. Mm. Right. No, but tell me ain't the best dang snack you done put in your mouth. There's a fire. Fire! The hype is high. These are way too good to be real. Did you just drop one on my bed? You dropped one on the bed. Um, rating, rating out of 10. Oh, 10. Right? Not great. These are so good. All right, we're going to start off at the Gangcon, the shoe area. Why am I in here? I don't know. Why are you in here? 
This is where you keep your shoes and your unwanted cameraman. This is also where I keep Douglas. It's been such a struggle trying to figure out where to put him. One thing I realized is that he likes being by the window in the sun. Isn't that right, Douglas? So yeah, he's here right now, but realistically, he'll be in a completely different spot in the living room in the sun where he likes to be because I'd rather him be happy than my living room look nice. This is... Hi. Hi. Kyoto. This is the Gankon area. It is not clean and I just couldn't be bothered. Thanks. Douglas is over here in the corner. That is the shoe closet that I asked the place to remove and they said no. So, so I'm stuck with this really ugly shoe closet that I don't want. You guys have already seen the kitchen, which is not clean right now. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to say hi? Just gonna keep eating. Yeah, he's eating. Moving away from the Gangon, right when you walk in is the living room. <sighs> into the living room I have this little table I found this on Amazon I put it together myself it has a drawer because I wanted something else with storage I just have some tissues and some apples probably the cutest bowl in the history of the world look at it this is so dope I found this on Amazon I just have some apples in there I think it looks really nice because they're like green and they match everything else in here this really cool mirror I got off of why am I thinking as if everything in here ain't from Amazon or Ikea it's from Amazon. And the straps are like this leather material. I just have it hanging up there by this nail. Luckily, I didn't have to put any holes in the wall because the last people living here had a field day. Like what, what were they doing? This plant is from my other apartment. It has just been growing and living and thriving. I have these little floor cushions, um, an aloe vera plant. I freaking love aloe vera for my face. I cannot live without it. Thank you, thank you. Best part of the whole living room. Are we surprised? We're not. Naruto eating ramen. It was so hard to find a black and white picture of Naruto eating ramen. I don't- I thought this was like, you know he always eat ramen. That should be easy to find. It wasn't easy to find. And then I had to get it made and blown up. I think it looks so nice here and really ties in all of the white furniture. The table I got from Ikea, it is so big. Actually, I wish I got the one that was a little bit smaller than this one. There's two sizes. This was the larger one. It has space underneath, but it's just so big. It takes up most of the living room. And this is my beautiful white carpet. This carpet was definitely the most difficult thing to find in this entire living room. It took so long to find a white rug. I get it. Like, who wants to buy a white rug? You're walking on it. It's gonna get dirty easily. You must be stupid. Well, I am. But yeah, I wanted a white rug really, really bad. And all of them came in like tints of something like a little bit yellow, a little bit gray, a whole bunch of other colors in it. It was so hard finding a pure white carpet. This one's so nice. It's super soft. The perfect color. I look crazy. I got this on Amazon and Ash already put a stain on it. Prove it. <laughs> oh, there. Someone had a pin on uh, the carpet. I don't own a pin. What? Then, I don't own a red pin. Then what is this? I have no idea. Either way, Ash did it. Coasters I got from Ikea have this plan. And the main attraction, my beautiful sofa that pulls out into a bed. I'm not gonna pull it out right now because it's a lot of work and it's really heavy. You're not an adult until you have something that you have to not destroy that you paid for with your own money and you'd be very sad if something happened to it. This couch is so freaking cool. I love it. It's a great size. Also, I got the design that comes with an ottoman. It has a bunch of storage inside of it. Win-win. This has been like my cool little breakfast spot. I think you guys have seen me like talking in here in some vlogs. I just love sitting here and watching the train. Not too long ago, we went to like the home center and picked up this beautiful Plant. It is so dang big. I just wanted like an obnoxiously large plant in the living room And I'm using it mostly to cover up a bunch of wires right now because that's where the router is for the Wi-Fi And it just has so many wires and it, it looks awful. Ash got me this fake fireplace heater thing Basically, I can only use it for the aesthetic because as soon as I plug in the heating function It shuts off all of the electricity in the entire house 
This thing actually looks really cool in here because this whole place looks like a cabin or something. Got these really cool pillows from Nitori. I absolutely love these. I am obsessed. They low-key don't really go with the couch, but I love them anyways. And my Ikea twisty sticks. As you guys saw me break and shatter, not one but two vases. These twisty sticks are propped up against a wall and that is where they will stay until someone else buys me a vase because I'm not buying another one. You ever like have the feeling that you're cursed? But they would have looked really cool in here, but they're just gonna sit up against a wall until I get another vase. Christmas is far too. The newest addition to the living room, this beautiful golden round edged mirror. I got this on Amazon. I was looking for a mirror like this for so freaking long. I wanted one that like completely goes round at the top. You know what I mean? Could not find that but this was good enough the edges are like gold and it is just massive this is gonna be my um selfie spot haven't took a selfie in years follow me on instagram so that is the toilet and that's the bathroom a while ago i went to shirakawa go i can't pronounce it very well and i don't want to look stupid shirakawa go i said i say it like a straight american from ohio shirakawa go I don't know why. There's just one of those words I can't say. I don't know why. Anyways, I got this thing from there and I think it looks so cool. Yeah, it like leads to the bathroom. I think it looks really nice and I have my little bamboo plant over there. One thing that I love about this living room is that it just opens up to the backyard. I just feel like once it gets warmer, like barbecues, you know, stuff like that. Plus me and Douglas just love having this door open. So yeah, right here there is the door to outside. It's kind of a mess. No, it's not kind of a mess. It is a mess. I have not done anything to this yard yet because uh, it's kind of chilly and I've been waiting for all of these things to bloom. Oh my God, the train's going by. Do you see it? I've been waiting for all the flowers to bloom before I do anything to the yard because I don't know what's gonna look like what. Like I have a feeling he has died and he just needs to be ripped out. But yeah, although everything in here is kind of dark, like the wood on the walls and the closet, all of these windows allow for like a lot of light to come in. Another thing that took so long to get these curtains. These are not the first curtains I've purchased. These are the third. It was so hard to find the right white color and also ones that like fell to the right length. And this window is like irregularly very large. I had to get a couple of packs to cover up this whole window. Not gonna put any curtains on this one because it actually has one of those Japanese storm shutters that pulls down if I did wanna cover this. And all day I love to have it open and then at night I just close it. There's a lot of storms. So it's made out of metal. And usually like you put these down during a storm so that you know nothing blows into the window. I wish I had these on all of the windows, but I actually don't. Like I think I only have these storm shutters on two windows in the house. But yeah, I don't have to get curtains. If you saw any of my other moving vlogs, um, this is the closet. I did finish organizing everything. So much space, I was able to fit like all six of my luggages. All my jackets and a lot of like sweaters, work clothes, stuff that I don't use all the time because I don't open this up that often. For literally all of you guys asking where I keep my wigs. I used to have them nicely displayed. Um, They're now all just in a box. All right, so that is it for the living room tour. I'm so happy that I got to show you guys. Now I can finally like vlog in here without trying to hide everything. I literally was vlogging like this, y'all. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the living room. Is there anything I should add or take away? I try to keep it a little bit simple because I know like as I travel and live, I'm gonna buy like knickknacks and other things to like fill up the space. But yeah, so far I really like it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe so I can make more videos. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.